Good morning. Today we're going to walk you through how to register you and your family for annual convention. First, please note we are registering staff, so all prices will be zeroed out. There will be pricing associated with each, with each event that you choose to participate in. First, we're going to log in. I will enter my username and password. Now, we are going to go to events, and we're going to scroll down and register for annual convention starting on June 7th. Now, to begin our registration, I'm going to first register myself. I'm going to click that I understand that each person attending the convention must be registered separately and save my responses. I'm going to register myself as the main attendee, so I will click Add the Attendee Registration to my list. I don't have any dietary restrictions, so I will put NA. I understand that I will incur a $150 service fee if I cancel, and I understand that cancellations after May 22nd will not be refunded. Save my responses. Now I'm also going to register myself for the golf tournament. So I'm going to come down and scroll down to the golf tournament registration, click add. My handicap is 8 and I'll save my responses. So I've already registered for what will be happening on the first day. Now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to register myself for the YLP dinner which I also want to attend. I'll click add. Now it asks me how many guests including myself will be attending the dinner and I will have two guests, so I'll put a number two, and I'll save my response. I'm done registering myself, so now I'm going to register somebody else. I'm going to register L, B, And now I'm going to save and close. I'm going to log, scroll down. I understand that each person attending the event must be registered separately and save my response. Now I will not be attending all the business, this person will not be attending all the business sessions, so we're going to register for only the social events. We're going to answer all of our questions. Once again, there's no dietary restrictions. I understand about the cancellation fees and save my responses. Now I'm going to go down and register. I would like to register this person for the ladies brunch. So I'll click add and I have no dietary restrictions so we're just going to add that again and save our responses. Now please note this is the other person going to the YLP dinner. We already registered Taylor previously for the YLP dinner and included LB, so we do not need to register her for the YLP dinner. We're done with LB, so now we're going to register their kids. First is Ethan. Now we're going to register him for, now Ethan is 13 years old, so we're going to register a child ages 13 to 17. Ethan does have dietary restrictions, so we're going to put in he has cashews, allergic to cashews, and pistachios. Taylor, Ethan is 13. And a male. Save responses. Now we're going to scroll down and we want to register Ethan for one kids club. We're going to register him for just Monday morning for right now 
But please note, if you want to register your child for any other kids' clubs, you are more than welcome to. You'll just follow the same process. Now we're done registering Ethan, and we're going to go and register Zim now. First, we must... Now we're going to register somebody else. And we're going to register Zim. So Zim is 11, so we're going to register him for the child ages 4 to 12. And we're also going to register Zim for the Monday Morning Kids Club. We can continue to register Zim for other kids clubs. Just feel free to do so at whichever option you choose. Now we're going to proceed to the checkout. Uh-oh, we have an error. Please note, if you see any black text, it means there is an error in the cart. All that needs to be done is you just need to click on the individual with the black text underneath. And we'll need to make sure that we go back in and fill out any required questions that are notated by a red asterisk. So we'll go ahead and click yes so we understand that each person needs to be registered separately. And it looks like this is where we forgot. So we, he doesn't have any dietary restrictions. Zim is 11 and he's a male. We're going to save our responses and proceed to the checkout. It looks like now we do not have any other errors, so we're ready to go ahead and check out. We're going to submit our order. <laughs> and we're just going to double check and make sure that we have everything that we want. So we registered Taylor first, who will be attending all the business sessions, so he has an attendee registration. We also registered him for a golf tournament as well as the YLP dinner. Then we registered LB, who will only be attending the social events, as well as the ladies brunch. Lastly, we have Ethan and Zim. Ethan was registered for 13 to 17 year olds, and he registered for One's Kids Club. And then Zim registered for One Kids Club as well, as well as registered for four to 12 year olds. Now, you'll see down here that you have a confirmation being sent to tknet at lindwell.com. You can also send another, go ahead and send another email. So if we want to send one to LB so that she knows, we can type in kinet at agcga.org. And we can go ahead and click send. If you have any questions with registering, please feel free to go back and review this video, as well as direct any questions to LB Kinet or Michelle Harper. Now we are going to register an individual who is not currently on your company's roster in our system. Today, we're going to register somebody for the Southeast Georgia Savannah Members First Meeting. You'll go ahead and log in and choose the event. Then we'll come in and we're going to register someone else. Now, we're going to add a new contact since this person isn't already in our system. Once here, we're going to fill out the required portions. So we're going to go ahead and choose prefix. We're going to register Patricia Kinnett. And now we're going to fill out any information if you want to add a title, if you want to add a designation, anything that you would like to add, but make sure that you add the primary organization. As you start typing, you will start to see your company show up. You'll select the company. You can add an email, a phone number, an address. But now that we have all the information to the first and last name as well as the organization, we're going to save and close. Now it pulls up her registration form. We're going to go ahead and answer all of her questions, understands that there will be a no refund if you cancel, and then you're going to list any dietary restrictions. Don't forget to save your responses. 
Now we'll proceed to the checkout. This is where you'll be able to see all of your registration information and you'll be able to fill in all of your credit card information so that you can go ahead and submit your order. If you have any questions when registering someone else who is not currently in the system, feel free to contact LB Kinnett or Michelle Harper with any questions.